Now we're at activity three, and we're not going to rinse this one out, if you're doing this along with me in the lab. We're not going to rinse this one out. We're going to hang on to this one as our key. So the, the most important thing about activity three is don't rinse this tray out. Just hang on to it after you do it. So activity three is called determining a color standard, which means a key or, or a guide, using the universal indicator. So now we're going to switch over from those brom thymols and the methyl orange and the phenylphthalein to this thing called the universal indicator. And you remember that this one has the full range between 0 and 14. But again, we only have the odd numbers, so we're only going to test the odd number ranges. We're going to take one drop of the universal indicator in all seven wells. And instead of doing the other three. And the word universal should give you a hint that this means it will go from 0 to 14. Universal indicator. And now we're going to do what we did before, which is to add each pH to the well. So pH 1. Getting low. There we go. pH 3. pH 5. pH 7. pH 9. I like that one too. pH 11. Like that. pH 13. Last one. There we go. We'll give it just a second and note it might be a little hard to see with this lighting. You're looking at the differences in these shades. And so we've got a pink, red, and an orange, and a yellow, a green, a blue, and we're actually moving towards indigo and violet. So just think, this is our Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. With the last one being violet and very... Uh, dark purple. Now here it may not look that way to you because it's on a video, but it does have tones of deep purple in it. All right, so that's our key. We're going to describe each of these. You can call them what you will, but we'll just say this is red for Roy. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, or blue-purple, something that's got purple in it. Okay? That is activity three.